Hey, I'm Grant with Grant's Game Rex, and today I'm talking about a game coming to Kickstarter in September, Scandal O. But if you notice, there's an exclamation mark at the end of it, so really it's like, Scandal O! Oh! Oh, you surprised me, Scandal. <laughs> Scandal O is from Megacorp and Games, and it is their follow-up to their hit game, Awkward Guess. And the mechanics of these two games pretty similar. The way you play them is pretty similar. They are both deduction games where you are getting clues and information from a set of cards and throughout the game you will build up your knowledge set until you try to deduce the solution to a problem. And I'll tell you, the, the decks of cards in both of these games are really impressive, okay? They, they call it the brilliant deck system, if you see right there. And normally I'd be like, wow, that's a little arrogant calling it a brilliant deck system, but it is. It's so brilliant. It is wildly brilliant, okay? And they deserve to call it brilliant. Okay? I, I have no idea the amount of thinking and math that went into setting up the decks for this these two games. It's so crazy to me. I mean, you deserve to call it brilliant. Call it genius. Call it Einstein. You want to be the Einstein deck system? I, I'll allow it. Go up to the mountaintops and shout it. That's how cool it is. You deserve all of the plaudits you're ever going to get. Basically, the way it works is there's like 300 cards in the box. And each time, each time you play a different scenario and a different scandal, you are using a different combination of cards out of that 300 and so there ends up being like 40 different cases in this box you get so much bang for your buck because it, there's just so many different cases in it all using the same cards brilliant i don't know how you did it brilliant if the mechanics of these two games are fairly similar the theme is where they differ in Awkward Guess, uh, somebody has been murdered in a mansion and you're trying to figure out who killed them, sort of like Clue. In Scandal O, you are playing as a journalist trying to figure out a political or social or tabloid scandal. You know, so over here you're like, which one of you did it? It could have been anybody. And over here you're like, oh, is Brad Pitt going to start dating Angelina again? Is he going to start dating Jennifer? Maybe he's going to start dating me. Let's figure it out. In Scandal O, you will have a set of cards in your hand that include pieces of information and you will be recording that information down on this sheet to try to determine what type of story the scandal is, who's involved in the scandal, and what newspaper is willing to print the scandal. You will be exchanging information with other players in the form of exchanging cards with them on your turn, you can ask for information about any location or person or newspaper and other players can offer you cards with new bits of information in exchange for cards out of your hand. You'll be recording those pieces of information down and building a case. For instance, if I got this card, I know Fred is not connected with E or O, so then I go over here and I cross off E and O on this sheet until I can figure out the whole scandal. This is what a final sheet looks like where I've crossed off a bunch of different stories, came to the conclusion of one, I'm crossing off connections, figuring out who it is, and figuring out which newspaper wants to publish it. This game is fairly difficult and really does require you to put your deduction cap on. But one of the things I like the most about it is that it's overwhelming at first when you only have a little bit of information and you're like, man, I don't know what's going on, I have no idea. But then as you start to get more information from more cards, you start putting patterns together and figuring out connections. And it's very rewarding and satisfying when that, when that picture starts coming into focus where you're like, oh, they're connected to them and, and this newspaper is very interested in publishing. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, this is fun. If you like deduction games, then this is great and should definitely go into your collection. It is a really solid deduction game. And one of the things I like about it the most is the theme. I've played a lot of deduction games where the goal is to figure out who murdered somebody. 
but I've never played a deduction game where I play as a journalist trying to get a story published, and that theme makes it feel fresh and unique in the genre. And deduction games are fun because if you figure out the solution first, you feel ridiculously proud of yourself. You're like, oh, me? I figured it out? I'm smart too. Yeah, take that brilliant deck system. I'm one of you now. I'm a, I'm a brilliant. I'm a brilliant.